Let's talk about caffeine. Caffeine is an organic compound that in its purest form is a white, bitter, odorless powder. Caffeine acts as a pesticide against harmful insects while improving the memories of beneficial pollinating insects so that they come back and pollinate the plant more frequently. In the human body, because caffeine has a similar molecular structure to the neurotransmitter adenosine that slows down neural activity, caffeine can bind to receptors in the brain and block adenosine, creating the opposite effect and stimulating neural activity. How much caffeine is there in coffee? The main determinant of how much caffeine there is in coffee is the varietal, which is usually Arabica or Robusta. Arabica coffee beans usually have about 1.2% caffeine and Robusta nearly twice that at 2.2% caffeine. Robusta coffee plants typically grow at lower elevations where they need to use their higher caffeine concentration to defend themselves against the hordes of predatory insects that live there whereas Arabica coffee plants typically grow at higher elevations where fewer predatory insects live. Most specialty coffee is Arabica partly because of its lower caffeine content and thus less bitterness than Robusta. So which coffee has more caffeine? Since all of our coffees are Arabica and the amount of caffeine among the different varieties of Arabica is relatively similar, then it really comes down to just two things. The roast, not in the way you might be thinking about it, and solubility. When it comes to the roast, all else being equal, the amount of caffeine in a dark roasted bean is the same as in a light roasted bean. Roast level, within reason, has no impact on increasing nor decreasing the amount of caffeine in any one coffee bean. It stays the same. But what does happen is that the darker a coffee is roasted, the more water evaporates from it, and the more puffed out the bean becomes. Meaning, generally speaking, darker roasted beans are larger and weigh less than lighter roasted beans. So if you measure your coffee by volume, then your measuring container full of lighter roasted coffee beans will contain more caffeine than the same container full of darker roasted coffee beans. Why? Because the lighter roasted coffee beans will be smaller and so more of them can fit into the container than the larger, darker roasted coffee beans, all else being equal. But if you measure your coffee by weight or mass, then your measuring container full of dark roasted coffee beans will contain more caffeine because each darker roasted coffee bean weighs less, and so you'll need more of them to make up the same weight or mass as the denser, heavier, lighter roasted coffee beans. Solubility has to do with how easy or how difficult it is to extract caffeine from coffee. And this is where things get really messy because in addition to roast level, you have the issue of grind size, the temperature of the water, the amount of pressure you're using, the way that you're distributing the water over the coffee, and also contact time. The more contact time you have between the water and the coffee, the more caffeine you're going to extract. Generally, you're going to extract 90 to 95% of the available caffeine in coffee within the first minute. And it's because of that that generally a double shot of espresso is still going to have less caffeine in it than a normal size drip coffee. Espresso generally takes 25 to 30 seconds to extract and a drip coffee anywhere from two and a half to three and a half minutes. Remember, Generally speaking, your drip coffee is going to have more caffeine in it than a double shot of espresso, but if you're looking for a quick pick-me-up, the espresso is always going to be more concentrated and you can probably drink it faster, so it's going to have the desired effect that you want. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you in the shop sometime soon. And in the meantime, subscribe to our channel and leave any comments or questions in the description below. Thanks. Bye.